Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, instead of doing a mukbang, I'm assuming you guys can already tell from the title, but I'm going to be doing an all day cheat day. So I kind of did this on my 10,000 calorie challenge and you guys seem to really like it and I love doing it because I get to try a whole bunch of stuff that I normally wouldn't. So I'm going to do another one today. It's not technically a calorie challenge, but I'm going to try to do it the way Stephanie Buttermore does it. If you haven't seen her videos, she basically does cheat days where she doesn't track the calories while she's eating it, but then after when she's editing, she goes back and estimates the calories and tells her viewers how many calories she ate. So I'm going to do that today because it'll be more fun than having to track as I go. And I can just enjoy the food and then track later. And then I know you guys like knowing how many calories I ate. So, But yeah, I have a lot of food planned today. So we'll see how much I can get through. I went grocery shopping last night again just like I did before the 10K. And I picked up a whole bunch of stuff. And then I'm, I plan to go to like I think a couple restaurants around me and get some takeout. So we'll see. Um, I'm just going to play it by ear and see like what I want to eat. Because that's just the whole point of this video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, and then before I forget, I also want to say that if you're not familiar with Always Hungry, she's one of my favorite YouTubers on YouTube. I watch all her videos. I watch all her cheat days. So her and I, her name's Olivia, are going to be doing a collaboration and I'm going to fly to Florida at, we believe, the end of October. We haven't solidified the exact date yet, but pretty sure it's going to be the end of October and we're going to do a cheat day together. So I'm super excited for that. I just wanted to let you guys know, especially because... This is the kind of video that she does so yeah i hope you guys enjoy and i will see you i'm about to head to the gym right now and i'm gonna get food on the way because i'm freaking hungry so yeah i'll just see you guys there okay guys so i just left jack in the box and i got a breakfast jack and i got their uh, they have like a sausage burrito, but I got it without meat, even though it says meat lovers on it. And I also got the breakfast jack without meat too, so. And I also got a hash brown. And then yesterday I went to 7-Eleven and I got some stuff I really wanted to try. So I got the strawberry danish from 7-Eleven. And I also got their birthday cake snack pie, which I guess is new. So I'm very interested to see how that tastes. So I'm going to start eating because the food smells so good and I'm so hungry. So yeah. So I think I'm going to start with their hot food because I want it to stay hot. So I'm going to start with the burrito first. I've been really craving like breakfast food like this lately. So I'm excited. <laughs> I know this looks like they put a hash brown in there. So yummy. So next, I love breakfast jacks so much, so I'm going to have their breakfast jack, so it looks like that on the inside, there's like cheese too. 
And then I'm gonna put my hash brown on it, like that. How good does that look? Wow. The breakfast burrito was good, but this is like, Okay, so now I'm gonna try some of these things I got from 7-Eleven. So first I'm gonna try the cheese danish. I might not eat all of these. Oh, and I also forgot to say the time. It is currently 8.18, but I might not eat all of these. It kind of depends. Well, it looks like I'm going to eat all of it. <laughs> so next I'm going to try the birthday cake bar, which it looks pretty good. I just don't know what could be really on the inside. It says that it's a naturally flavored, fun birthday cake pie in lightly glazed flaky crust, which I don't know how you can go wrong, so we'll see. Holy shit. That's so good, like, I don't know if you guys can really see. It's always hard to tell if my camera's focusing or not, but it's like the fluffiest inside ever. It's really good. That kind of reminds me of like a glazed donut with like cream filling in it. It doesn't really taste like a, you know how those pies are usually like fruit pies? It tastes like a glazed donut in that form, which is obviously so really good. So anyways, that is all the food I have for right now. I am going to go to the gym right now. That's why I'm on my carb. And then... When I get home, I'm definitely going to have some more food. I feel, like, fine right now. I don't really feel... Like, I was super hungry when I woke up, so... I'm just going to eat until I feel like I'm satisfied. <laughs> I could eat a lot more, so... I'm going to go to the gym really fast, and then when I come back, I'm going to have some more food. So I will just see you guys then. Hey, guys. So I just got back from the gym, and it's currently 11.25, so... I haven't eaten for, like two and a half hours about 
and if you saw my pizza video you saw that I went to this place that made mac and cheese pizza and so you've probably already seen this if you watched that video but I had to go back and get some more because <laughs> I loved it so much so I wanted to get they had an Alfredo pizza last time that I went and they didn't have it today so I didn't get it so I just got their plain mac and cheese but it still looks so good Mm -hmm. Is it even technically qualified as pizza? Cause it's like white sauce with cheddar cheese and noodles, but it's the best pizza I've ever had. I was surprisingly hungry after the gym. Like I actually was really, really, really craving pizza. And I was like kind of wanted it. So I'm really interested to see how many calories I can eat today. I think I might do candy when I get home because I really want some of the candy I got. So I think I'll go home, do some candy, and then see what else I feel like eating today but yeah it's been freaking fun so far I love doing videos like this it's only 11 29 so I have the rest of the day ahead of me so we shall see what I end up eating hey guys so I just got back from the gym and so now I'm going to try all the candy I bought that I said I was gonna try so there's a whole bunch of stuff that I've seen in stores that I've been wanting to try it, but I haven't had the chance to, so I just picked up eight different things that I want to try right now, and I think I might add some of it to my ice cream later, so I don't know if I'm going to eat all of every single one, but I definitely want to taste them, so let's see. The first thing I want to try is the Reese's Fast Break Bar, which I've never had before. I've had a whole bunch of different kinds of stuff with Reese's, but never this, so... It just looks like a normal candy bar. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. It just like breaks. Looks like there's some sort of like nougat type stuff in there. I don't know. So I have this much left of it right now. I'm gonna go on to Rocky Road Bar. And I've seen these in stores before, but I never thought about getting it. But I was looking up a list of the most underrated candy in the US, and this is on, this is on the list, so I thought I should just try it, because it says handmade milk chocolate coated marshmallow with cashews, which sounds good, so we'll see. looks like that mm. 
I don't really know where the cashews are. This one's like a nine or a 10. This one's like a six. It's not even really like a, like a chocolate bar. I guess that's why I don't really like it because it's just like marshmallow on the inside. So there's not like a huge flavor to it. So it's okay. Next, I'm gonna try the Fifth Avenue bar. This is another one that was on that list. It says crunchy peanut butter and a rich chocolate coating, which also sounds really good. So that looks like. It kind of reminds me of a Butterfinger, just not as good. It's still good, but it has like the exact same texture. Um, but the peanut butter flavor is not as good to me. I'd say it's like a, it's probably like a seven and a half. Yeah. Okay, next I'm gonna try the cookie layer crunch Hershey's bar caramel so my mom and I in our trying American candy we tried the chocolate one and we really liked it and so I wanted to try the caramel one because I love caramel so it just literally looks like a Hershey's bar and then they're actually super soft so mm. That's really good. Ate the whole thing. It's like a nine. So next I'm gonna try the Butterfinger Crisper. And Butterfinger is my, probably my favorite candy bar, so hopefully this is good. They just come in like little squares like that. It says, D delicious Butterfinger cream and crunchy toffee pieces with crispy wafers. This is another nine. It tastes just like a normal Butterfinger, but it's crunchier. Okay. Next is an O. Henry bar. And this is another one that was on that list of like underrated chocolate bars. So it says that it is peanutty caramel fudge bars and milk chocolate. That's like an eight. Mm. It reminds me a lot of a Snickers. This one's really good. Okay. Next. Trying a Ritter Sport. My sister is the one that, she's been wanting me to try this for so long. Cause she tried it a while ago and she said it's like amazing. So we will have to see. Sarah, I'm trying the Ritter Sport as we speak. <laughs> she came out to see me try it. <laughs> okay. Mm. 
Okay, so this is what the inside looks like. It has the biscuit on the inside, so. That's really good. The wafer inside is so good, or the biscuit. It's so good with chocolate. It's like the good amount of crunch. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I'm gonna save half of it to put in my ice cream. But that's another nine. I was kind of skeptical because I'm not a huge fan of plain chocolate, but it's really good. And then last, I already tried this in my last video or my 10K challenge, so I'm going to save half of my ice cream because I know it's good. That's why I got it again. It's probably my favorite candy bar in general now, so it's the Milky Way Fudge. So good. Just like the perfect mix of caramel and chocolate. Mm. Yum. I think I'm gonna go walk to the store because I want some cornbread. And so I think I'm gonna go grab some cornbread from the store because I've been really craving it. So I'm going to watch the store, grab cornbread, and then I'm just going to eat next time I'm hungry, which will probably be soon, so I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so it's almost 2 o'clock right now, and it's been probably like an hour and a half since I had the candy, so I just took a shower to like refresh myself, and now I'm going to try a whole bunch of different donuts that my sister made, so... Um, I've been wanting to have crazy donuts for a long time because I see them on Instagram and like in food videos all the time But Seattle doesn't really have any crazy places. So my sister made me a whole bunch of different ones. So we have peanut butter and Jelly right here. So it's grape jelly peanut butter frosting and then peanut butter chocolate chips on top then we have Oreo which is filled with white buttercream or vanilla buttercream and then it's topped with Oreo cookie crumbles and then an Oreo on top. And then we have Reese's that is filled with peanut butter frosting and it has Reese's chocolate frosting on top and then Reese's topped on it. And then we have a Lucky Charms that has vanilla, the same buttercream that's in the Oreo in the inside with marshmallow fluff on top and then Lucky Charms. And then we have a Brookie one so it's brownies on top with brownie batter and then cookie dough on the inside and then the last one is strawberry cheesecake so it has cheesecake in the inside and then like strawberry the stuff that like goes on top of the strawberry cheesecake on the top with strawberries and I think there's strawberries on the inside too so I don't even know which one to start with I think I'll just start with the this one right here Okay, so I'm gonna try the Reese's one. Looks like that. <laughs> wow. That's so good. It's so peanut buttery. She's over here like watching me try them because she made them. <gasps> the dough is like actually really fluffy. I don't know if you guys can see how fluffy the dough actually is. That was better than any donut I had on the tour. 
Way better. Hmm. Okay. Next one. I'll go for the strawberry cheesecake one. This one's so heavy. <laughs> Holy crap. So this one has the strawberry cheesecake in the or the cheesecake on the inside with strawberries on top. How is this one better? This one's so good. Mm. It tastes just like strawberry cheesecake. Like literally. Mm. Okay, I'm not gonna finish all of it because I wanna make sure I can get to all of them. And if I still am not sugared out, then I'll finish the rest of it, but I'm gonna go for the Brookie one next. <laughs> so this one has the cookie dough on the inside with the brownie bits and brownie batter on top. Holy crap. Let's see the cookie dough. Okay, so next one I'm gonna try is the Oreo one. It has literally an Oreo on top. And then it's like, I think glazed, and then there's also Oreo cookie crumbs too. It's just like an Oreo. Mm. It's like really light too. Mm -hmm. It's actually sugaring me out and I never get sugared out. So the next I'm gonna have the peanut butter jelly one, so with the grape jelly on the inside. Wow. Tastes like a sweet PB&J. That's so good. Okay. And then last, I'm going to have the Lucky Charm. So it has vanilla buttercream on the inside and then marshmallow up on top. And then we separated, or she separated the Lucky Charms marshmallows, just put them on top. Oh my god, that's sweet. <laughs> mm. So sweet. <laughs> Holy shoot. I knew it was going to be sweet as hell. <laughs> I actually feel like I'm in a sugar coma. I never get sugared out. Those were so sugary, but they were so good. Okay. So I'm going to... Top there with the donuts, just because my cheat day is not even over yet. So I'm going to chill for a little bit more, and then 
I'm probably gonna have something savory next because I just had a whole bunch of donuts. So they were super good though. Thanks for making them. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, so I just got back from the gym. Um, it is 8.20, so it's been six and a half hours about since I had the donuts. And I honestly thought that I was gonna call it quits for the day. Like, I didn't think I was gonna be wanting any more food or anything like that, but the gym kind of made me feel hungry again. So I think I'm just gonna have one more thing and then quit for the day. Um, I know I was saying that I was gonna have ice cream like earlier in the video. I was saying that I wanted to put candy in my ice cream, but honestly the donuts just like sugared me out. I'm not really craving sweets right now, which is really rare for me. So that kind of says how sweet those donuts were. Um, yeah, like even my sister made some for Bay, and he had like two, I think, maybe like one and a half, and he was like super sugared out. So, and I had like four, so <laughs> I'm just like not craving sweets at all right now. So what I think I'm gonna have is, Kraft macaroni and cheese, which they're the shapes kind because I like shapes better. I don't know why, I just think it tastes better. And then I also got some cornbread at the store earlier that I've like really been craving. So I think I'm just gonna have that. And then I think that's gonna be it for the day. If I feel hungry, I'll have something else, but I feel like at a good level right now. So yeah, I'm just gonna have that. I'm gonna make it really fast and then the next clip you see of me, I'll be eating it, so. Except really fast, but while the water is boiling, I bought some Nutter Butters and birthday cake Oreos that I wanted to put in my ice cream and obviously I'm not gonna have it, so I'm gonna taste test them right now because I've never had them. So let's see. Birthday cake Oreo. It's pretty good. It actually has a good birthday cake flavor, but I'm not sure how well it works like with the Oreo. The fact that it's like a chocolate cookie on the outside. So I give it like a seven out of 10, maybe. I still like my favorite ones that I've tried, I think are the red velvet. Next, I'm gonna try the Nutter Butter cereal. That's good. Tastes like Cap'n Crunch. Mmm. Those would've been good in ice cream. I don't think that I'll end up having any tonight. But if I do, I'm gonna put some Nutter Butters in there, so. Anyways, back to making my Kraft Macaroni. So I added some butter to it and about half a cup of cheddar cheese. And I'm gonna add two sauce packets to it because I like it extra cheesy. Hey guys, so I hope you can see me okay and I hope this setup's okay. I kind of rushed into setting this up because I was gonna film out in my living room like I always do, but then it was way too hot because it's hot outside and then I was just cooking this stuff, so, or I didn't cook cornbread, but, I was like making the mac and cheese, so I was like getting hot. So hopefully the setup's okay. I can't really tell with my camera, but I'm excited to eat this. I also have some honey vanilla butter, which sounds amazing that I'm gonna put on the cornbread. So I feel like I'm kind of doing a mukbang right now. <laughs> Cause if you remember on my, if you watched my videos for a while, this is a setup I used to have for my mukbangs. It smells really good. Okay, so I'm gonna have the mac and cheese. Mm. Well. I actually want to try some mac and cheese on the cornbread.
I think I forgot water. I'm gonna get water real fast. Okay, now I'm gonna try the cornbread with the honey on it. I mean, with the butter on it. I think this is going to be my last bite. Actually, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess that is the end of that cheat day. I'm pretty full right now, so I don't think I'm going to... It's, what, 8.37, so... So my camera randomly shut off again. If you saw my last video, it was doing it in that video too. But as I was saying, it's 8.37 or now it's 8.41. And so I don't think I'm going to eat anything else for the rest of the cheat day. If I do, I'll obviously film it. But as of right now, I'm pretty full. So I don't think I'm going to have anything else. So I'll just say the outro now just in case. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next cheat day.